Good morning, second grade. I'm going to be telling an Aesop fable about a donkey and salt. And this is Ferber, for those who haven't met Ferber. And Ferber's going to help tell this story. So before I begin the story, I'm going to talk about salt. Now, we all have salt every day. We use it in our food. We have it. We put it, put it on our food, and it's in pretty much everything we eat. But it wasn't always that way, and salt was very, very important. And if you didn't have enough salt, you would get very sick. You would have these things called goiters. And so salt for all around the world was a very important item that people would trade, um, trade to get salt or pay lots of money to get salt. And where I grew up in San Mateo in the Bay Area, which is not too far from here, there's a bridge called San Mateo Bridge. And from going from the West Bay to the East Bay, it crosses this bridge. And I remember as I'm crossing this, as you get to the other side, there are these kind of squared out pieces of land. And in those squares was salt. And salt is natural in the ocean and in the bay. And so what happens, they would bring the water in and then they would just isolate it. And then the evaporation where the water would go up, it would just leave salt. And then they would collect the salt and you would have salt and they would sell salt. So in this story, which is happens a long time ago, there's a merchant. So once upon a time, there was a merchant and he was a seller of salt. He would go to the coast to get his salt. Now to get his salt, he had a donkey. And on the donkey, he had two baskets. Now this was, there's many types of donkey. This was kind of a hairy donkey and a lot of hair, more hair than I have. And he would bring this donkey to the coast and he would fill up the two baskets that he had on the sides of the donkey with salt. And salt can be pretty heavy when you have lots and lots of it. And especially for the donkey, it was very heavy and he didn't like this at all. And every time he went to the coast with his, with the merchant, he knew he would be carrying back loads of heavy salt. Well, one day as he was carrying back these, this load of heavy salt, the donkey slipped in the river that they had to cross. And half of the salt on each basket fell out and washed away. Now the merchant wasn't very happy about this, but when the donkey got up, it was much lighter. Hey, said the donkey, this is good. And so they, so they went back home and the merchant didn't have that much to sell, half of what he normally would. And so he had to go back pretty soon to the coast. And so they went back and they filled up the baskets again of the salt. And the donkey was none too happy about having this heavy load of salt. And so as they were going, he they went to the river again. And the donkey said, hey, the last time I crossed this, I slipped and it was much better afterwards. It was much lighter. And so the donkey slipped again, but this time on purpose. And the merchant saw that. And again, half of the salt was washed away and the merchant carried on and sold another half. But that was okay because two halves make a whole. So for that week, he had all his salt um, sold. Well, the next time, as after he ran out of salt, he went back and he thought, I know that donkey did that on purpose last time. So I will teach him a lesson. Now at the coast, there were lots of sponges, natural sponges. And so instead of filling up all the baskets with salt. He filled up half the basket with salt and the other half 
with sponges. Now for the donkey, felt it's not quite as heavy as usual, but it's still heavy enough. And if I slip in that river again, it'll be much lighter. And so as they were walking, it slipped into the river. Now, instead of the salt just washing away, the sponges, what do you think they did? That's right. They soaked up water. And if you ever tried carrying a bucket of water, you will know how heavy water can be. And so thus, the baskets became very, very heavy. Heavier than it would normally be with full loads of salt. And the donkey, and it made its way back, back to the merchant's home. And the donkey, henceforth, never tried that trick again. Now, of course, you guys, I'm sure, do not try any tricks. Although maybe you might do a trick. Is there any trick that you might do at home or at school that you think you can get away with? Anyway, something to ponder. Okay, there'll be some assignments for this story. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember when you do your assignments, always do your best work. All right, take care everyone. Bye.